Hi and welcome to the channel. It's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you're probably here because you've just been follow botted. I think with these situations, you tend to look into the detail of them after it's happened rather than before it happens to you and then take the precautionary measures. Many people, I think, that get follow botted or view botted are going to be uh, probably looking at this video after it's happened to them as opposed to in advance of them. However, if you're one of the lucky ones that is looking at what to do before it happens to you, then congratulations, you're going to deal with it a lot better than I did. <laughs> and you're going to deal with it a lot better than uh, than other people uh, have in the past. So I'm Machine Dana. I've been streaming for four months now. I've had really quite steady growth on my stream over a period of time. Uh, it's going really, really well. And, and I appreciate the community that I've been, been uh, building. Credibility in my community. Uh, a lot of sincerity within the community and I've been enjoying it all. I've managed to stay away from any kind of fake engagement, which uh, I just don't really believe that it does anybody any genuine favors but yesterday unfortunately i did get follow botted it happened live on stream as well it was quite a, an intimidating experience to be honest uh, even after four months of, of almost daily streaming it was still a situation where i was quite taken aback uh, and i wasn't really sure what to do so i'm making this video really to give some advice to people uh, just to know what to expect uh, hopefully you're looking at this video before it's happened to you but if you're looking at this video after it's happened to you and you want to know how you can mitigate that uh, going forwards, don't worry, there's some pretty good advice I'll, uh, I'll give you. Really, it's people that are looking for attention. Uh, they're looking to disrupt, disrupt your channel as much as possible. Uh, I think the goal for these people is to get you to log off your stream or stop your stream or troll you or whatever. And the absolute best way to deal with trolls uh, always is to not give them even a thread of, of attention. I have no idea who did this on my stream and to be honest I don't, I don't really care. Since looking into it, it seems to have been happening quite a lot on Twitch as well. This seems like more of an endemic issue for Twitch. At the moment it feels like Twitch does a lot to battle the symptoms, uh, so the results of view botting and the results of follow botting, but I don't know how much they really do to prevent it in the first place. There's about four or five things you can do that, that really make uh, the difference, I think, here. Uh, and I've certainly learned some lessons from this uh, if, it, if it was to ever happen again to me. I do stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. So if you want to chat about this, jump into my stream, ask me any questions. Uh, I'll drop my Discord link in below as well. I do a lot of stream labs, tutorial videos, stream deck tutorial videos, things like that. So I'm always looking to help other people on their streams. Without further ado, let's roll the uh, the clip. Uh, Zap, I think, I think you're good on that, by the way. Zap, I don't know if you're still there, dude. I think I think you got. I, I didn't see your name on the dono, dude. My mind is fried from the waffle. T dash 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 T. Hi. Whoa. I'm being fucking viewbotted. What the fuck is going on? I'm being fucking view botted. What the fuck? What the hell is happening? Shut it down. I don't know why that will make any difference, though. I can't see how that will make any difference. I'm going to end stream. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, follow botting is where you get a number of uh, basically fake bot accounts that come onto your stream, some sort of program that's written to force apply new followers to your account. But I think long term, this type of activity is a very bad thing that can very much damage your channel. I would strongly advise against doing it. It is officially against uh, Twitch's terms and conditions, so they strongly condone it. I turned off the stream uh, to in an attempt to kind of stem the the issue uh, and kind of gather my thoughts. You may well have seen on the figures on the clip that I showed you, my follow account went from something like 220 uh, to like 5.2 thousand uh, in total. I think I continued to get some followers 
after I turned off the stream as well. But you saw it go up quite rapidly. And the views as well went up quite rapidly during that clip. So yeah, 220 followers all the way up to 5,000 in, in a matter of like two minutes. Uh, quite frightening. Uh, my viewers were a little bit taken aback. They'd never seen that sort of thing before either. My immediate concern with the view, with the follow botting was that my channel would be banned uh, and that would be a lot of hard work down the drain for a situation that was completely out of my control. And then when I realized that actually that probably won't be an issue because there's no way they could associate it with me, that the follow botting was clearly something that I don't want, uh, clearly something that I'm trying to avoid. They could probably see the reaction of me in my clip when I submitted the clip of that happening to Twitch. I soon realized that my account, the risk of my account being banned was actually quite low. However, uh, I then, came to, to realize that maybe my uh, data about my cha channel, the analysis on my channel, the long-term kind of growth stats of my channel could be quite severely impacted. If you're anything like me and you wonder about kind of algorithms and things like that, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that having a very high follower to very low viewer engagement view ratio would negatively affect your channel. So for instance, if you've got 5,000 followers and only 20 average viewers in my opinion probably looks quite bad to twitch's algorithm so it, it just it just hinders your channel in my opinion uh, so i don't i really don't know why people do this to be honest so i'm just going to put up now the first ticket that i sent to to twitch i just copied and pasted the text into a word document i'm basically just giving them a clip of when it happened a little bit of information uh, i was quite lucky i got a qu quite a quick response from twitch which was really good um maybe three or four hours later i got a response i think that this happens quite a lot probably more than uh, people realize and this is basically the way that twitch seemed to deal with it i think they deal with the symptoms by figuring out what what accounts are the fake followers and deleting those accounts they delete them in batches by the looks of it uh, which means that at any point in time in in the future after you have the followers they will just drop off now i don't know if that's gradually or in one big hit and obviously that can have quite significant impacts on your data and how, how usable your growth stats uh, actually are to you for you know an, an indeterminate amount of time i don't know if this would be like a week or two that you'd, you'd have bad data or maybe for six to 12 months where you'd be continually losing followers so this is one of the things that was going through my head when i received the response back here so i then sent this response back to twitch which is basically me saying i'm worried now about how this will affect the integrity the credibility of my channel and also the the statistics and the analysis and the usability of that data for my channel i basically asked again if they had any other way of instantly removing those followers uh, at the time it looked like there was no way of doing that so i sent out a tweet which was yeah, got follow bought for 5k uh, new followers i went from 220 to 5.2 in less than two minutes luckily i hashtag twitch and followers because i think some people obviously follow those things uh, it was so scary, but I sent a ticket off to Twitch and hopefully they sort it. Well, this guy here, Commander Root, he responded and said, you can remove followers from your account with this simple tool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I saw this I saw this uh, kind of icon here and I thought, this guy looks intimidating. Uh, is this guy going to try and hack me? Um, I, ha I saw, luckily, some other medium, large size streamers actually said, you know, look, this does work. Uh, this guy, this guy from Scotland here, he said me and uh, Jean-Claude Van Schott uh, have tinkered with it. Works a charm indeed. So I had like, I was lucky that I got some people that recommended this. I've now used this tool as well to remove those followers from my account. So even though Commander Root looks very intimidating, actually the guy is obviously a very good developer and he's creating some pretty good tools to help in situations like these. So within less than 24 hours, I was able to use this tool from Commander Root. The way I did that, I'll click on here and show you. Um, on this twitch-tools.rootonline.de forward slash follower remover. What you're able to do here is um, you can look at accounts that followed you between certain dates, accounts that have been created uh, during certain dates, and then minutes between the account being created and then them following you so this means an account that's recently been created and then instantly follows you that more than likely is some kind of bot account uh, be that manually driven or a programmatically driven uh, bot account you click the filter button all of those um, results from your parameters will appear here and then you've got the option to remove the listed you then, when you click this, you've then got the option to, to just remove them as a follower or you can remove them and ban them as a follower. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you're around. It's personal preference. Thanks again to Commander Root for that. It's a really, really good tool. I would highly recommend uh, looking at this if you get full botted. It did actually drop back down slightly lower to 210, but I'm, I'm not so bothered about 10 users being dropped off. That, that's not a big deal. Now that I've shown the tickets and I've shown what you can actually directly do to tangibly remove the followers that have been added as a consequence of that, which I would highly recommend doing, don't fall into the trap of thinking, oh, it's okay. I'll just leave these followers on because it looks good. My Twitch ranking, uh, Twitch tracker ranking went from 100,000 to like 30,000. Uh, it looks good, but it's just fake. It's completely fake. So there's no point in, in that being the case. Not to get too philosophical, but those people that take shortcuts and cheat in life generally don't tend to work out well in the long run. So, <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go into some actual tangible things that you can do if it actually happens to you on your stream there and then in the moment that my chat feed was instantly filled up with follower one of the things you can definitely do is to turn off chat commands in streamlabs it's under modules and you've got chat alerts you can simply go onto streamlabs and turn off chat alerts with this toggle here get notified in chat when activity happens you could just go to preferences and turn off the follower one if you really want it but if you're kind of in a bit of a panic, you can just turn off all of your preferences here. So that's one immediate thing you can do to clean up your chat and stop all of the followers from appearing in your chat. The next thing you can do on alert box here, these are alerts that appear on your screen with a uh, like a GIF or some text or a sound effect. Obviously it can be pretty disruptive to have alert after alert after alert, particularly if they're spam alerts. It's not so bad if they're donation alerts, but if they're spam alerts, then maybe not. You can go into alert box here, get the settings for it. You could simply turn alert box off temporarily um, at, at a global level. That would work. That would stop alert box. Another way of doing this would be to go into the follow, Twitch follow here and turn it off. Uh, one final way you can do this, and I just need to um, bring in my Streamlabs here. You could simply mute the alert box in your Streamlabs here like this. You may just be mind, need to be mindful to do that on all of the different scenes that have alert box in case you want to carry on your stream. So for example, I have one where my camera's at the bottom. I would just need to go in here and also turn it off. Remember, the objective here is to not give the attention to the people that are doing this and also to make sure that you're not disrupted, that you're minimizing the disruption to your channel. So there's some instant things that you can do. If you're a little bit more uh, proactive about it, you can go into your stream deck. This is my stream deck. I've done some other stream deck videos, so feel free to, to check the videos out, uh, tutorial videos and things like that. But I've got a Streamlabs OBS file and I also have a Streamlabs Online file Streamlabs Online integration, which is this one here, these are the things that you can actually apply to your Stream Deck. Skipping alerts, if you've only been follow botted for 10, 50, 100, skipping alerts probably works. If you get 5,000 of them, you don't want to be there pressing the skip alert for 5,000 times. Uh, trust me, nobody's going to want to watch that on your stream. So skip alerts becomes a little bit useless, but it might be useful in, in small uh follow bot uh, instances. You can mute the alerts, which means they will continue in the background, uh, but you won't hear them. Uh, I think that's kind of uh, similar to just simply turning off the sound and the visual, visual of the alert box. Uh, you can pause them, which then allows you at a later stage to do something else with those alerts at a later stage off stream. Uh, for instance, you could then skip them or you could uh, mute them and let them pass through. Uh, and yeah, so they're the things you can do with um, Streamlabs Online. But in terms of Streamlabs OBS, you can also set up a source that you can turn on and off. And all that really does is means that at the touch of a button, you're able to do what I showed a second ago, um, which is turning off a browser source on the, the various um, on the various sources that, where that exists. So here, for example, I've got a workbox on my Cam One, a workbox on my Cam Two alert box on my just chatting and alert box on my cam three and all this does i've called it alert box it brings in your uh, default uh, collection it brings in the correct scene in this case camera one and i've set it to my alert box so i've turned i've got this when this button is pressed it will turn off the alert box and then go red so if i press this button on my stream deck hopefully this will turn off here just by magic it turns off there's a number of things that you can do there. Other things you can do if you're being chat spammed, you can mute your chat. Uh, you can put it into follower only chat. You can put it into subscriber only chat. I would guard against instantly trying to ban those users on stream uh, en masse 
And the reason why is because you're potentially going to run the risk of banning the wrong people. And also, to be honest, it's still very, very disruptive for you and your mods to be live on stream banning all of the accounts that are going to be following you particularly if there's thousands of followers so uh, my, my best advice there would be to be honest is to get your mods to ban maybe one of the users because that potentially might look up the ip and potentially might ban the rest of them so it's probably a good idea to try and ban one or two of the users and then leave it at that finally i'm just going to show um the article that twitch refers to within their uh, response to me, help.twitch.tv forward slash ash articles, how to handle uh, viewbots uh, languages US. So I'll put the link in the description below too. There's this section further down the page, which is how to deal with fake engagement. And this gave me a lot of comfort when I saw this, Twitch will not punish a user for the actions of another. If you are not responsible for botting, which will not take action against you. I took quite a lot of comfort from that, but that's when I then started to think about the effects of the numbers and the algorithm and stuff like that. The thing to bear in mind as well is even if Twitch does just delete the accounts over a period of time, that then might look like your channel long term is, is actually declining, which still doesn't look good. Now that's probably not too damaging if it happens over the course of a week or two, but if that happens over a one or two or three month period or even like a six or 12 month period all of a sudden your channel does look like it is declining in size when the reality is you've taken a huge spike up and that's just a correction phase and then you'll continue the growth as normal again and obviously if you're looking for brand deals uh if you're trying to demonstrate growth to uh to other users if you're you know trying to hype your own stream and and, and just do all the normal things that all the twitch streamers do it's very difficult to do if it looks like your channel's actually declining in size and really the objective of not giving attention to the people that are doing this and not allowing it to disrupt you the disruption carries on for a much longer period of time when your account is being declined and so on and so forth so really, the objective of that um, disruption is instantly nipped in the bud by using a tool like the follow bot remover uh, from uh, from Commander Commander Root. They say, say, don't panic while being bot. It may be stressful and distraction. Try not to panic and carry on as you would otherwise. I don't agree with that advice. Um, I agree with the, the don't panic bit, but you're not able to just immediately carry on as you would otherwise. Taking some of the very quick steps that I've just shown you, for a couple of minutes just and then carry on with the stream as normal is probably the right way to deal with it uh, stay civil botting can bring a lot of attention you may be asked about your viewership feel free to calmly explain the situation or ignore such questions altogether now the thing about this again it's a little bit of a paradox here twitch is saying uh, don't make a big deal out of it twitch says um you know stay neutral uh, don't give them attention don't let it disrupt you and all the rest of it but the thing is if you're constantly having to explain while, you, while your viewership is declining or why it spiked and then came back down again and stuff like that, you, by default, you're you're kind of giving attention to uh, the, the, the people that have done the follow botting or the view botting. So the best advice there is just to try and deal with it, get your followers back to normal where they were and move on from it. Just move on from it as, as best as possible. If you do have any questions for me, please do drop them in the video below. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to me if you do want to see more of these types of videos or, or even uh, other advice videos like Streamlabs. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Hopefully you guys never have to experience this. If you have experienced it, I hope you don't experience it ever again. Uh, if you have experienced it, please do take some sort of active precautions against that. It's a learning exercise after all. Uh, remaining professional, remaining calm is really key. Um, and uh, yeah, take it easy, stay safe and cheerio.